Hi, my name is Cha Huyng. Today, I will present my assignment, which is real life prosthetic and orthotic case. Victoria Snell broke her leg while walking with her friend in 2011. Unfortunately, her leg did not heal properly, so she decided to cut off her right leg. Victoria Snell has no medical past history, skin, and circulation issues. She is an active woman who likes to sport. He has cut 17 cm of her right leg, and the shape of her residual limb is bubble shape. The goal is to reduce her pain and have a normal life like before. The rehabilitation device used by Victoria is endoskeletal transtibial prosthetic leg. It can replace the function of the missing leg anatomically below the knee to the floor. Endoskeletal prosthetic leg is a better choice because it can provide a amputated stability and provide chance to Victoria to participate game and sport. These figures show the component of endoskeletal transtibial prosthetic. The components are socket, pylon, foot, soft liner, and pin suspension. First, the type of socket used is patella tendon bearing PDB socket. PDB socket is made out of polypropins because it is lightweight. The socket is attached to the shank through an alignment devices by a single bolt fixing. Polypropin is strong enough as it is semi-rigid so it is easy to shape during laminating to make it as socket. It provides medial lateral stability and self-suspension so Victoria can walk more stable. Second, the socket interface is made out of pinlet liners. Pinlet is like a hard foam that can vary in thickness. This is very suitable for Victoria because she is new in using transtibial prosthetic and she may be facing a stable problem during use it. Pinlet liner has a suitable coefficient of friction to meet the suspension requirement needed by a prosthetic. It is soft liner that can protect the residual limb to direct contact with the hard socket and provide an intermittent pressure. Next, the material used in pylon is nylon. The using of nylon will make Victoria feel more comfortable, more flexible, because it is lightweight, so she can able to walk quickly. It is able to reduce short falls when she has high impact activities. The food used is not articulating SSUS food that provides best support to Victoria on the ground. It is made out of soft material which is rubber because it is lightweight and inexpensive. It is soft, noiseless, and comfortable to desire under heel and toe pressure. It is also water resistant that it can support Victoria daily life activities. The suspension system used is anatomy suspension system which is include lock on locking liners with shutter or pins. It is wider medial and lateral socket walls so it can fit closely above and against the medial conduct. It is easy to don and off. The improvement that I would like to suggest is change the SSGS food to dynamic or energy storing and return food. She enjoys sport activities such as running and she attends a running race after one year she gets amputated. It might be more expensive because it has higher activity level which is 3 to 4. It is made out of carbon fiber component and other spring-like components so that it is allowed to store a mechanical energy and release it during push-off. That's all from me. Thank you.